There we go. Okay, so you should be able to see in in Google Classroom, the Classwork tab, there's a Motion Lab. The Motion Lab you can find right here. And the directions lay it out pretty straightforward. Okay, I would read the procedure. Uh, within your group, determine which person will be performing the following motions. So you can have different students, or if you want to work by yourself, you can just put your name in all three of them and do the same thing uh, all three times. Or if you're in a group, one person can do each. Okay, so this, this experiment you can do by yourself with a partner. Uh, I would say no groups larger than four. I would say four is the max. Okay, no groups larger than four. All right, um, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to uh, walk forwards for 10, 20, 30 meters. Uh, as you guys came to class, was there tape on the ground out in the hallway? Awesome. I hope there is. I told my second period to leave the tape on there. Uh, there should be four pieces of tape. All right, so if you are going to work out in the hallway, this is what the hallway would look like, okay? There should be four pieces of tape where you have a starting piece of tape. If there's not, you guys might have to set it up, okay? You might have to set it up. So you have a starting piece of tape. Ten meters away, you put another piece of tape. Another ten meters, you put another piece of tape. Another ten meters, you put a final piece of tape. So what, the, what you're going to be doing is, let's say Julian's our walker, okay? He's going to walk forwards. He's going to say, ready, set, go. All of these people are going to start their timers, all right? They're all going to start their timers. Julian's going to walk. He's going to walk. He's going to walk. He's going to walk. When he reaches this point, Jenkins is going to stop his timer, but he's going to keep going. Then George is going to stop. Then Janorius is going to stop. Okay? And that's what you plug in the data table. Okay? That's what you plug in the data. So you're just walk, trying to walk consistently the entire way while your partners take your time. Now, if you're doing this by yourself, you'll be able to use the stopwatch app on your phone or, or any whatever you're using, okay? So for example, you're gonna start three, two, one, start. You're walking, 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 walking. When you get here, lap it. Lap it. Stop, okay? And that's how you can get your numbers, okay? That's how you can get your numbers if you're working by yourself. Now, you can either use a phone or up on the front front uh, table that I have, there are stopwatches up there. So you can grab one of those stopwatches if you would like to use that. So that's in the hallway. Like I said, if there's no tape, please set the tape 10 meters away from each other. There should be meter sticks up front and tape up front. If you're working in the classroom, and I would like a few groups to work in the classroom, if you're working in the classroom, I got a little diagram here where here's my door, here's the lab tables. Instead of measuring the 10 meters out, there are 33 tiles equal 10 meters. 33 tiles equal 10 meters. So if you look on the floor, one, one of those tiles if you count 33 of those, that equals 10 meters. So for example, you might, it's probably gonna start, you're probably gonna start pretty far up front. You might start up here, put a piece of tape down, and the back might be another piece of tape. That might be the 10 meters. So what you're gonna do, have to do is you're gonna walk there, 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 and that would be your 30. Okay, it just depends on how how far the 10 meters is. Okay, and it might be easiest if we clear out some of these desks. Desks, oh my word. 
desks uh, so that people can walk. Expense maybe up the middle, move them to the left or move them to the right. Uh, and the desks way over here on this wall might be easier if you move them to over so that people can walk up and down those aisleways. Okay, so 33 tiles equal 10 meters. All right, so after you get your data, let me go back. After you get your data, what you guys can do is you guys can calculate each of the three average speeds. So you're going to calculate the average speed for forward, the average speed for backwards, and the average speed for speed walking. And then calculate number two. And then number three is a graph. So you can either graph it on a piece of paper. I would recommend using Kami. Kami is really easy to use to graph diff the plots. Uh, you're going to get three different lines, and then this compares the three lines. Okay. And finally, just some practice questions. Okay. Just some practice questions to close it off. Now, only one person has to do fill this out. Like, so if you want to share this document amongst your group members, that's fine. If you want to have a recorder, like just, all right, your main job is to record while I do the walking. It's however you guys want to do it. Uh, just make sure your name, all the names in the group is on it. All right. Um, is there any questions? All right. If you guys are going to the hallway, if you're one of the groups, I would say maybe two groups. Let's see how many people are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-one. I would say maybe two max, maybe three groups go out in the hall. All right. If you're one of those groups, please be quiet. If you are loud and causing disturbance, I do not want to get an email from anybody saying that. All right. I would greatly appreciate you guys being quiet in the hallways. Uh, if you guys don't have any questions, you guys are good to go. Uh, I will stay on the Google Meet. If you guys do ever have questions, you guys can pop back in uh, and ask about anything and everything. Uh, but that should take you about the rest of the period to do. So we should be good to go. happened quick they're ready